This game features two of the most respected coaches in the WPIL. Terry Totten has been the head coach of the Central Catholic Vikings for 15 years now. His team won the first 6A championship three years ago. For Pine Richland, the head coach is Eric Kasparovich. Now in his seventh season with the Rams, they've won the last two 6A championships. Combine these two head coaches' records, 227 wins and 45 losses. Let's see which one comes out on top tonight. Central Catholic won the battle of field position and was in Pine Richland territory on all seven first half possessions. No better starting point than the final minute of the first quarter. Rams quarterback Cole Spencer fumbles. Elliot Donald recovers at the Pine Richland 16. He's the nephew of LA Rams star Aaron Donald. Three Eddie Tillman runs and the Vikings had a 6-0 lead with the extra point blocked. Tillman had 112 by halftime, his fourth straight game over 100 yards rushing. The next time they got the ball, Central put together an 11 play drive. Tillman scores again. Again, the extra point block, 12 0 Vikings with 3.07 to play. But both teams would score before the half. The Vikings go to the air, Dom Pito finding Sherrod Lindsay. After the two blocked extra points, they run for two with Tillman. It's 20 0. But Pine Richland finally gets into Central Territory in the final minute. A big personal foul call against the Vikes, and Spencer scores. Zach Warienka adds the extra point, 20-7 Central Catholic at the half. Any thoughts of a Rams comeback were quickly extinguished early in the second half. The Vikings held Pine Richland to a quick three and out, and on their second offensive play, Tillman flew down the right sidelines. 43 yards for another score. It was 26-7. The Vikings defense was strong all night and after another three and out, all conference kicker John Opalco, who was 0 for 3 on extra points, booted a 30 yard field goal. That ended the scoring. 29-7 Central hands Pine Richland their first loss since the state semifinals last year. Field position is always important, but you were in their territory every single possession except for your last one. How key was that? Oh, it's big in a game like this. I didn't know that, but that's, you always want that. Eddie's on a roll. Four straight 100-yard games right now. How much easier does that make your job when he's running like that? He's a great runner, man. I mean, you give him the ball, you have to that he's going to get at least 10, maybe break one. It's awesome. So Pine Richland, number one in the WPIL in 6A and number two in the state. They'll return home to play Cannon McMillan next week. It's a big win for Central Catholic. They had lost three straight to Pine Richland, and they have to play three of their last four on the road. From Carnegie Mellon University, I'm Guy Junker for Operation Football.